Hey YouTube, this is Yoli1976 on here. Um, hi, thanks for all y'all support and love. I just want to first say that before I do my video. I'm on here because I just, I need to get myself back on track. I know I keep saying, making videos about that, getting on track, but first let me tell y'all, for the people that haven't been following me, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, um, two years and let me think uh, I think I had it in January or February so I'm going to go with February but I think it was January so let's go with January February, March, April, May, June two years and four months ago so um, yeah and I still um, two years and four months ago and it took me eight months to lose majority of my weight I lost 113 pounds and, um, I started at 282, and I got down to my lowest was 167, and I ranged between 167 and 172. But, for the past two months, let's say three months, I've been ranging from 172, as high as, I'm at my highest now, again, one. 83.6 yeah 183.6 this morning so i'm trying to get myself back on track y'all know I, I this is a, a tug of war here this is when you do weight loss surgery i want people to realize that this is not like a magical surgery where you're gonna be you're gonna lose all this magical weight and i'm gonna turn on this music a little you're gonna lose all this magical weight and be eight and it's just gonna be easy from now on out no i'm just keeping it real with y'all i'm not trying to scare anybody um you lose the weight really fast the first six months i mean it's so fast and that's why they said um really suggest people to really drink their protein with vertical sleeve gas shocking i'm talking from that aspect but also i heard what people said with um uh, what is surgery? Gastric bypass and R and Y, Rux and Y, um, and other weight loss surgery. I haven't heard people say you lose it so fast with lap band. I think you got to be more, um, more, uh, anal with lap band because I heard in the beginning, and it's just here to say that they don't fill the band up, so therefore you're on your own, um. But for me talking from the vertical sleeve gastrectomy side, uh, in my experience only, the first six months, I guess you can call it the honeymoon stage, and um, you lose the weight really, really fast. It, it really goes so fast. And um, I put my best foot, I put everything, my best foot fo forward or whatever you want to say. I put all my effort, my best effort forward because people told me about the honeymoon stage so I wanted to take advantage of it as much as I could so I was in the gym two to three hours sometimes four hours every day you know every day Friday I mean Monday through Sunday okay every day and Saturdays and Sunday I would be more in there like a, um probably Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday, I would be in there two hours, but the rest of the days, I would spend like four hours, and it took a lot of time for my son, my husband, and my family, so I was very dedicated to it, they knew this was going to happen, so you, when you do the surgery, and you, um, get your family prepared, because it's, you need the support, and it's very, um, you have to, if you want to make the most of it, you really have to put everything forward in it. So I was in there hard, and I didn't want a lot of extra skin, so I made sure I did my protein, my vitamins, everything they told me. And I lost, well, like I said, I'm, I went from 282 was my highest, and my lowest was 167. So I did pretty good um, in um, six, um, six months. Well, I got the 170 in six months. By eight months, I was down to 167, 167 in eight months. Um, so, 
Yeah, I did pretty good. Um, I strict to I'll stick to my diet. I rarely ever cheated. I probably cheated like two times through the whole thing. Um, after that, it seemed like I was still on my grind. I was still doing my thing, but I was at a, a star. I got discouraged, and um, I was staying in between 167, 170. So I did pretty good. So when I got to my two year. I just, I don't know, I started putting on a weight like that, like two months before I had to go for my visit, my doctor visit, my two-year doctor visit, I had put on like, how much weight did I put on, um, I think I put on like two or three pounds, something like that, so I was like, oh, what, I, I had just came off my menstrual cycle, and I usually do put on water weight, and then it comes right off. So, shortly after that appointment, the weight did shut off. Like I told my doctor, it shut off, and I went back to my normal weight. But it was, it was it's a struggle trying to maintain. But then I noticed these past couple of months, I've been really struggling. And, I mean, I've been hungry. I've been really eating. I've been able to eat a lot more food. I don't know if it's my hormones because I had other health issues. Um, I have fibroid tumors and stuff and um i don't know if it's messing with my hormones or what but i've just been really hungry and just eating and i'm 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 just keeping it real i really believe it's head hunger that inner fat girl trying to come out and i'm just determined not to let her ruin what god the gift that god had given me to allow me to go through the surgery with no complication and then get down to not my goal weight but a healthy weight for me so, um, I don't want to mess that up. So, I'm at 183.6, and my goal is to get back down to at least 170, and then from there to work down. I mean, this is a journey. It's, it's, it's never, um, you're not going to stay within your range unless you work really hard at it 24-7. There's times you, the holiday going to come, you're going to eat more than you're supposed to. You're going to hang out with your friends. You might have a dr drink. You're not supposed to drink with surgery. And I do. And a lot of calories and carbs. And you put that weight back on. I feel like I put it on faster than I did before I had the surgery. I really do. So, I just add some really quick. So, the main goal is to catch it before it get too far out of control when you be at square one. So, that's my main goal. Usually, when I see 180... I'll be like, oh, no, 179, I get scared, I panic, and I lose that weight quick, get back down to 167, 170, but for some reason, 180 did not scare me, 179 didn't scare me, 180 didn't scare me, and, um, because when I got the 180, I went back down to 179, and, bam, I went right, this morning, I got on the scale, and it said 183.6, that scared the hell out of me, so now, I'm scared, and I'm getting ready to get back on track with my exercises I have not been exercising I've really been slacking and everything and I really want to look my best for the summer so I gotta get back on track um and get that motivation um so back on here I need y'all support as well as me giving y'all support today I'll meet my dinner early because I feel like um if you eat your dinner early you won't, you know, it's 426, I'm eating early so that I won't lay down on a heavy amount of food. I don't think that's good. And that was always my method in the beginning. So I'm trying to go back to square one, eat my dinner early, cut out the carbs. And um, usually at night, and I have showed y'all this before, and I'm going to do another video of what I eat to get back on track when I used to eat. But at night I eat. Like, because I'm eating dinner at, it's 426, and I got my dinner. Let me show y'all what I'm eating today. Let me see if I can show you. Ooh, making a mess. Hold up, y'all. Making a mess. I'll show y'all. Wait a minute. Put it right here and show you. That's what I'm eating. And it's all squished up together because I, um, 
how the plate is slid. So what I'm eating today is oh, sorry about that, y'all. What I'm eating today is that is um beef and green beans. <laughs> so there's no carbs on that plate, just protein, just protein and um, vegetable. And I have a big pot of green beans, and I'm for my snack tonight. I'll probably eat enough of um bowl of green beans for my snack and the beef I'm eating now beef is hard for me to eat I'm going to do another video telling y'all the things that I still can't eat and how much I can eat and um, the things that I snack on to help me get through and keep from gaining weight and stuff like that I'm going to do another video but beef is still for the record hard for me to eat um, I have to really chew 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 it up and stuff I I'll get sick and throw up so it's still hard, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to get back on track, and I just thought I'd share that with y'all, so today, which is, let's see, Tuesday, May the 21st, I am 183.6, and I will be checking back in with y'all probably Friday, I actually started my diet back Monday, but I didn't, um, Monday, I didn't do too well because I was 179 and I don't know what made me go up to 183. I, I kind of ate a little bit too much. <laughs> Let's keep it real. And um, so today I'm really trying to stay on track. And um, we'll see, we'll check in with my weight um, Friday and see where I'm at. And um, if I don't check in with y'all Friday, I'll check in with y'all again next Tuesday. But I'm going to try to get back on here Friday and let y'all know where my weight at and how I've been doing with my journey. Um, I'm going to try to go back in the gym. I ain't going to try. I'm going back in the gym. I walk the trails and usually um, around my neighborhood for about an hour and a half. Me and my family usually walk the trails when it's a nice day. I usually go in the gym and I do water aerobic, um, treadmill. Um, I go to the Y, so they got this fitness link where they set up an exercise program for just you, for what you're trying to do. And what I'm trying to do is tone my body. So they have an exercise program for me toning my arms and um, my stomach and my inner thighs. <laughs> so just trying to tone up them areas. And um, the treadmill to help me to burn some calories and... I usually do uh, aerobic class. I would I I try to do like a few aerobic class. So I'll be um updating y'all on letting y'all know what aerobic class I take, what it's all about, and what I'm eating for the day. I'm gonna try to get on here a lot. I know I said I was in the past, but I'm really am trying now. And um and there was snacks that I would I included into my diet to help me and stuff like that. So I'll be getting back with y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Hope y'all doing well. Congratulations, congratulations on all the people that lost that lost weight. Um, no matter if it's two pound, one pound, a couple ounces, or a hundred pounds. Congratulations on that because it's hard to do, and we gotta support each other and encourage each other. Um, congratulations, people that got married. Congratulations to people that had babies and you know anything special that happened in your life. Congratulations and. Thank you, y'all, for following me. Rate and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Bye.